Yo, what's up people? It's your boy P, also known as Captain P67 from Twitch. I'm back at it with another God Builds video for you. And we've covered, just to kind of backtrack what we've done so far, we've done the Lance, we've done the Sword and Shield, we've done the Switch Axe, we've done the Charge Blade yesterday, we did the Gun Lance, we obviously used the Lance originally as well. Uh, light bow gun, heavy bow gun, we used the bow even as well. But today we are going to cover... Da -da 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 -da. You probably already saw it on the back of my character though. The uh, greatsword, the ruinous atrocity. So we're going to be covering a greatsword build, what it does, what it's kind of capable of, and how you kind of use it, and the basics. Plus, we've got a lot of uh, options available for you. I actually got three different builds, but this is my main one I'm going to be rocking. I'll talk you through the whole build and why. And it definitely is a true guard build. So again, maximum offense, great defense, and gives you a lot of options too. So, without further ado, let's get to the build itself. So I could just pop over here real quick. I'll talk you through the build now. Let's change this. All right. So as you can see, we're actually going for the ruinous atrocitor. So that's what we're going for today. Uh, yo, what's up, guys? You good? We're just doing a quick uh, God builds video, of people. So welcome to the stream. Um, Discord is for the subscribers only to my Twitch channel. So as you can see, what we're going to use is the Ruinous Atrocity, which is a base attack of 1,344. Dragon damage is 240. Very high Elder Seal. It's got one gem slot in there. I've added a defense increase and I've added health regen uh, for that survivability. We've added one attack gem in there also. And it has very, 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 very good high white sharpness. So it's got a lot of white sharpness and hence the reason why you can do a lot of DPS. I have used it a heck of a lot. Um, I didn't even ever get to blue sharpness to be honest with you. Um, I tried to test it as much as I could. I smashed a gold Rathian on the head earlier. It did like 1,234 damage with one shot to the head. Um, you've seen a hundred, couple of hundred hits of damage per hit as well. I mean it could range. Sometimes you did like a small amount of damage with like 70, 78. But then you could go within up to like 1,000 plus. So it depends where you hit the monster on the body obviously and the weak spots. But this definitely does a lot of damage. It's very strong. So the base one is 1344, 240, high elder seal, and defense bonus of 15, which we had an augment on there. And the finished kind of product is 1488 damage, 45 affinity, 240 element, and it's high elder seal also. And what I've added for the build is crit I7 for that maximum crits, attack level 5 for those maximum damage DPS, crit boost on top, weakness exploit 3, focus 3. Um, if you're not sure what Focus 3 does, so we'll just talk you through it. So Crit Eye is for your affinity, obviously. Attack Boost is for your just generic attack boost. Once you get to level 4 plus 5, you get an additional 5% crit on top of that. So you're going to get to level 4 if you're going for attack. You don't really need to bump it up any further. It's only a plus a few points damage, so it's an extra 3 damage to level 5. But we've got a gem slot, and I want to do as much DPS as we can. Crit Boost 3 increases the damage of in critical hits, uh, dealt by critical hits up to 40%. We've got Weakness Exploit 3, which attacks that hit weak spots have 30% 30 30 increased affinity with extra 20% on wounded parts. We've got Focus 3, which increases the fill rate for weapons with gouges and charge rate for weapons with charge attacks. So this obviously has charge attacks, so it increases the gorge fill rate by 20% and reduces charge times by 15%. We've also added a Crit Draw 3, which a lot of people don't get a chance to actually get this on every build. I've seen some builds with Crit builds without critical draw and they've had to sacrifice crit boost or they've had to uh, sacrifice a few things but I've managed to get everything on this build for you today so it's going to cover all angles so when you're using critical draw guaranteed 100% crit so if you get to level 3 draw attack affinity 100% so you're guaranteed to crit on the first sheathing and the first hit but the way I've built it is it doesn't matter if you just get off the first hit you still want high crits for the second and third and fourth hits as well uh, we've added some blight resistance in there so obviously it reduces the duration of all elemental blights by 50% resuscitate Improves evasion and reduces stamina depletion when afflicted by with abnormal status effects. That can help you out quite a lot. We added some marathon runner in there to keep the stamina high. If you're running around trying to get to a better position before you slash, this will definitely help you in the long run. This one, it can be debatable whether it's required or not, but I tried it a lot without quick sheath and I tried it with quick sheath and that quick, that extra little speed of a second definitely makes a difference. Um, sheathing, unsheathing, getting into a fight, getting away from a fight. Quick sheet definitely makes a difference. Now, definitely tried it out a few times. Um, kill Golrathian. We kill Golrathian and Silverathalos 
Uh, probably one of the quicker times we did as a group. But uh, I got in and out very quick, did a lot of damage, got away, kind of dodged quite a lot as well. And we got through a lot of stuff. I've also did guard up. Now you might be thinking why the hell have I used this. But what I found is obviously you can kind of block with a greatsword. But if you're in a really bad situation, if you block, there are certain unblockable attacks you can't block. So what would you rather do is block it, take a bit of damage and maybe survive. Or would you not be able to block anything at all and just die um, instantly. So if you add guard up with the resuscitate, I do find that you can get some situations that are very much impossible to get out of. You can obviously change these gems to make it more DPS, so add a few more things to it. But what I've truly found is this is a true god build where it covers everything. So a lot of DPS, a lot of defense, a lot of options for you, and then you can play as you want to play. You can obviously change this out if you wish, and I've changed it before, but I do prefer it on. So I think this covers everything for you. So again, it covers everything you need, plus a bit of defense on top and a few more options. And I think that's what makes a true god build that covers everything for you. Like the perfect Suzanne or something like that from uh, Naruto. <laughs> Shout out to Naruto, quick plug right there. But yeah, we'll get to it. So ignore uh, Agitator or anything else I've added on. That's for my Impact Mantle and Temporal Mantle. But you know, just keep it simple. Uh, this is the god build for you. I've covered everything it does. I'm quickly going to run off to the training area. And just go you, give you some sort of demonstration of the, the damage it will do. And just the basic attacks. Without any buffs added, so... No might see no extra demon powders or anything like that. Just a simple, simple base attacks that we have. And again, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. I'll be covering quite a lot of um, topics for you. But I haven't covered most of the weapons for you. I've still got some new god builds coming. So I've got a few god builds coming still. Um, if there's any weapons you want me to cover, I'll cover those. I think we've got, literally only got like Insect Glaive left and a Longsword, which I do have builds for already. But um, I'm just making sure I get them out at the right time. Uh, without further ado, let's get some chopping some wood. So, pow. 228 first hit, just normal slash. 280 normal hit, first slash. Double charge attack, we're looking at 109 and 905. The first one was a crit, second one wasn't a crit. So again, 235. 399 on a crit. But, well that's 80 and 1225. So, Pretty simple folks, whatever hits, it destroys, literally simple and plain. So that's it, if you want to use this, um, I'll go through all the equipment with you right now, so let's just cover that. And again, look on the right side of the screen, so you will see what I've used, so Ruinous Atrocity, we've covered that, and I've added Defense and Health Regen, so we've got everything covered, I've added Attack Boost 1 in there, so level 1 gen, I've used the Fulgore Helm Beta. I've added a sheath attack, dual 4, attack boost and critical boost 2 is in there. So we get weakness exploit, weakness exploit included in there and it's got 2 gem slots and those are what I've added. We've got Damascus male beta, so we've got focus 2 already included in there with 3 gem slots. A massive uh, double extra large gem slot, a medium gem slot and a small gem slot. So we've added sprinter attack, dual 4, attack boost 1, critical draw and obviously we've got the critical eye in there as well. We also use the Pride Van Braces Beta Plus, so I've added, well it comes with Critical Draw 2, so naturally it comes with Critical Draw, draw 2, so you can save yourself quite a bit of few slots and points. And um, we've got a Critical Eye Expert Jewel 4, and we've got a Critical Jewel 2, which is a Critical Boost. What we've added for the second part is the Odagoran Coil Beta. In the Odagoran Coil Beta, you get Critical Eye 2 included, with two gem slots, an extra four point level slot, and a two level slot gem. So we've added Crisis, Attack Jewel 4, which gives Resuscitate, Attack Boost, and we've added the Focus Gem in there as well. Then we've gone into using the Garuga Grease Beta, which will give you Critical Eye 2 with 3 gem slots, or 4 gem slot, and uh, two, 2 2 medium gem slots as well. So we've added Resistor, Attack Jewel 4, we've added Critical Jewel 2 for that Critical Boost, and then we've added Shield Jewel for that Guard Up in there included. So again, the bills are always on the right, so you can clearly see what I've used. I have described what I've used as well. And with that, that will give you all this on the screen right now. So Critical I7, Attack Boost 5, Critical Boost 3, Weakness Exploit 3, Focus 3, Critical Draw 3, Blight Resistance, Resuscitate, Marathon Runner, Quick Sheath, and Guard Up. And there you go. Again, I've gone over what I've used, what we have on there, and that's on the right side of the screen. So I'll go over that again for you, and you can just quickly check it out. But apart from that, uh, I've added uh, Exploit a Charm 2 as well, so you can switch it around to your own playstyle. But yeah, make sure you support my content, follow my channel. So, if you want any tips and advice on the game itself, 
make sure you uh, follow my channel so it's captain p67 on twitch the sub and donation links will be on my twitch profile for you uh, post your comments in the streams at any point or in my videos if you want me to cover anything else but apart from that thank you for supporting all my content and i'll catch you in the next one peace out